Hi, I'd like to demonstrate the two new features that come with this new release of Xcolid Raw Obsidian. First of them is the Properties Panel Tray Mode. And the way you can invoke it is through the command palette. And if you type in tray, you can toggle the tray mode. When I press this button, you can see that the panel disappeared and it's collapsed into this menu on the left hand side. This is handy because you can still access the various panels for what you're drawing, but it doesn't clutter your screen. It is sort of a middle way between Zen mode in which everything disappears from screen except for this tool uh, box at the top and between uh, the full view. Uh, I think this tray mode is very handy when you want to draw, for example, on an iPad or you want to just draw without having your screen area covered with the tools and you can still access those tools. So I think this is a very practical new feature. The other feature I want to show you is the customizable color palette. The idea is that you place this customizable color palette into your Xcolid Raw template, and then you can have your custom colors uh, whenever you need them. So first of all, about templates, if you go into Xcolid Raw settings, then you can set up a template file. So this is my template file right here. And now if I change something on this template file. So let's say I change the background color of this and I draw a circle on my template file. Then when I create a new drawing, then that new drawing will come with that color and with that shape that I have on my template. Now, in this case, this is not uh, extremely valuable to have a ellipse on my template, but what you can do here is if I open up in markdown mode, then I can, you can see uh, the color palette here. I can modify this descriptor of my file and I can actually replace this. And now I'm just going to be pasting uh, this object here, I can replace the color palette with some custom data. And so you have three types of uh, colors. You have the element stroke, the element background, and the canvas background. In the description to this release on GitHub, I provide you with the default colors for the color palette. You can just leave the color palette empty. And then of course, that means the default X color color palette. But I give it here because you might only want to change a couple of colors here. So for example, in my case, I wanted a transparent element stroke and I wanted a white element background. So for this reason, what I've done is I've taken the standard Xcolid Raw colors, but I replaced uh, the second color. So the first gray with transparent and I replaced the first gray with white for element background, as well as I wanted more vibrant uh, canvas backgrounds. And therefore I uh, provided these various colors. So this also demonstrates that you can have uh, any uh, valid HTML color code uh, in uh, this field. Um, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that the color palette has to be exactly 15 colors. If it's not 15 uh, colors each, then Xcolid Draw will not accept that and you will get the default colors. Also keep in mind that you can decide only to change the element stroke or the element background, in which case you can leave the other items out of here. And now if I come back to my template and I look at the background colors, then you can see that this is now a new set of colors right here. And when I create a new drawing, then that of course comes with these colors, which I think gives you uh, great freedom in how you can color uh, Xcolor draw uh, drawings. Now, one final point, I'm also providing this link 
here in the uh, GitHub release notes. There's this cool tool uh, online. Actually, there are many color palette tools. I looked around and this one looked the most useful one. Uh, they have a set of pre-built color palettes as well. And if you like a color palette, then you can click here to export. And if you export it as code, then you can copy this to the clipboard and you get the array of colors. You still need to add the hash mark in front of each of these colors, but this is already a very practical way. And of course, you can change these colors. So if I'd like to change this color, then I can I can actually change it now. I don't remember how I changed it. Uh, yeah, like this, I can change the colors around. So this is a very practical tool to define your own color palette uh, for Xcolor Draw. So I hope you like these two new features and uh, enjoy drawing in Xcolor Draw. Thank you.